Okay, so this is the Nash H gun six rod holdall. It's the version that will take the 12 foot rods. Um, it'll take three already made up and it will take three in this section broken down. I don't know where to start off really other than that I'm impressed with it. Um, paid just under 30 pounds and it was easily the best in the shop and there were quite a few in there and when I say quite a few I mean probably 10 to 12 in the same price range and this like I say was easily the best I'm really impressed with it um, obviously there are better out there but you you know you're talking about paying serious money and uh, I hadn't got the money at the time so I'm looking at the uh, the budget end of the market let's say right okay you can see that um, I've opened it up I've got I've only got my two rods in there at the moment um, I've got the Shimano uh, 6000 size reels in there this will accommodate um, big pit reels so they're sitting in there with absolutely no problems whatsoever with loads of space this video actually doesn't do it justice um, I can appreciate the camera angle isn't brilliant um, but I have just uh, taken quite a few photos outside under the natural light um, but it started to rain so I thought I'd best make my way in and uh, hence me doing this in my bedroom so it isn't ideal guys I know that I can appreciate that but I will try to get some close-up footage in a while excuse me um, but what I was saying here plenty of room in the real pocket let me just zoom in on that touch for you plenty of room in here um, because the rod rest uh, sorry the rod bag is resting on the bed it all seems very condensed and almost pushed upwards at the moment but take it from me that is a really good deep pocket and also extremely well protected with this great padding okay so I'll put the cover over which is obviously to protect the rods in there and um, I shall turn the bag over so you can see how big that that pocket is there just move it over a touch see there that's a good size okay I'll move on to let me just zoom out uh, to touch I'll move on to the actual quality the build quality if you like which I'm really impressed with like I say like I said earlier I've took some good close-up photos to, to show you the the stitching and the quality of the fabric uh, I'll incorporate those into the video we've got a a pocket here for your bank sticks and other items which is pretty good um, I've got my keep net, uh, keep net landing net in there at the moment and three bank sticks so that's good zip comes down about 18 inches or so there so you can gain easy access um, there's a long pocket here which unzips right down the side that unzips there let me just move out of the way now what I like about this one, it goes all the way down to almost the bottom of this pocket, which is just there. So there's no reaching in and struggling to get hold of your poles or whatever else you've got in there. It's easily accessible, so that's good. The zips are extremely good quality. For a budget um, holdall, 
and like I mentioned earlier the the stitching and everything superb the handle is padded well made the strap again is padded and adjustable on this bottom section here so that's good when you first unbox this holdle you will find there is a spine in the box um, broken down obviously for packaging and shipping purposes what you do is you pop the spine together and right at the bottom here there's a little opening you simply pull it apart slide the spine in there all the way through up to the top and that well as you can guess is basically just to keep the rod holdle nice and rigid should you take everything out and you can stand it up so that's a good feature and um, don't think there's really a lot else to add because after all it is only a rod holdle so uh, I'm not going to be here talking about it for hours um, if you've got any questions guys just leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thanks for watching.